<laughs> Welcome everyone to the Albert and Billy show. There's your pen, Papa. <laughs> yeah. No, that was Ethan. Oh, I was, that's why you didn't get, usually you get them immediately. I still got mine. <laughs> Welcome to the Albert and Billy show, though, everybody. Um, listen to us here on WUAT Radio. Last time this year? I know. That's right. And watch this on channel 18, BTC Fiber TV. And uh, check the BTC Fiber YouTube channel out. Get on there and subscribe, like, comment. Those are nice. <laughs> but get on there and check it out, folks. You can uh, watch not just our show, but um, all the original BTC Fiber shows are on there. So check that out. And it is the last episode of uh, 2022. Yes, 2022. It is. Don't seem possible, but it sure is. So welcome, everybody. I think everybody. we started the radio program in 15. Yes, I believe you're right. 15. So it's and the been TV started 16. Though it was, it was yeah, I think it quick. started in 16. Mm-hmm. So uh, I wonder. Let's see. So we might be. We're on. We're season six now. Wow. Heck yeah. <laughs> can't do it without you folks so appreciate all the support we get uh really get too many compliments to say <laughs> i get blown away by that all the time really you ever get any negative remarks no not really no you know i never got a negative remark about carolyn as my <laughs> wife but then not many people would walk up to you and say you got a lousy wife well yeah that take a special kind of Stupid. <laughs> just a downright mean thing to say. <laughs> but uh, we don't have a whole lot of announcements today, at least. It is like that right after the holidays. I just thought of that. Things kind of yeah. fall back into normality, bit. but it's, it's subnormality because nothing's in gear yet. I know. I know. But now tomorrow night, everything will pick up. Yep. Chris, a uh, New Year's Eve night. That's right. That's right. Wouldn't you like to be in New York City? Well, I no. What's that ball? Well, out? I'll go back to New York City as long as I don't have to drive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> be fine by me. <laughs> I don't ever want to go through that adventure again, though. Woo. <laughs> well, I am glad to announce, and several people will be glad to hear this, Papa, uh, Cliff. Is bringing the Rook tournament back to Ember's Ice Cream Shop, folks. The first one of the year. He'll do. I think he does it. I want to say once a month, but I'll I'll verify that. But the first one is going to be on February the 11th. I'm going to say it's probably a Saturday. Yeah, because it starts at two. So it'll be on Saturday, February the 11th at 2 p.m. at Ember's Ice Cream Shop. And. Uh, there's a $10 entry fee per person. Uh, that includes hot dogs, chips, and drink, ice cream, triple elimination. Whoa. <laughs> I've never in life heard of that. Well, you're going to be there. You're going to be yeah. there. But you have no way of knowing how many people will participate. No. <laughs> uh, that's a first. Now, double elimination is what it usually is, folks. Wow. Triple elimination. <laughs> well, Trophies for first and second place. Okay, Teams. you get a trophy. Yeah. Carolyn so, had, a, had a trophy a good for, time. for world's best rook player. Oh, yeah. I remember that now. Yeah. You told that, too, at, at some point. Uh, I got some trophies, too, from, yeah. win, from winning this rook tournament a couple of times. <laughs> back to back. I don't know why, but for some reason, about two weeks straight. Had some well, cards had to fall your way. <laughs> they did. It's a game they of did. chance. It is. You have to have a little bit of skill. I mean, you can't be completely, you know, not knowing what you're doing. But, yeah, you still have to have uh, things go your way. It's kind of out of your control on a lot of it. It's just like football. You can't ever tell, ever tell how the ball will bounce. No. And no. so uh, some people get on a streak <laughs> about winning gambling. I know, yeah. Cards yeah. just seem to fall their way. That's true. Yeah, you just... It's hard. I wouldn't gamble on a game unless I knew. And I tell you what, it's hard to pick a a clear winner anymore. You just never know. No. There's a lot of upsets. 
That's where the word gamble comes in. That's true. <laughs> so true. All right. Well, um, so that is the Rook Tournament. And uh, I didn't do the birthdays yet, did I? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> we we had them finish, out. You want me to finish my comment? You can do your uh, announcement there, and then I'll do the birthdays. All for right. <laughs> we want to remind people that uh, at First Southern Baptist Church, there is... Uh, a place for the AAs to meet yeah and uh, that church is located on Main Street in Pikeville and they'll meet on uh, at 5 o'clock on Saturday in the lower level it does not say what day <laughs> well, yeah Saturday <laughs> evidently it's every Saturday okay it must be then Anyway, okay. it's it's open to everybody, and visitors are welcome. That's good. Karen and I used to visit. Uh, really? Well, the AAs, that many years ago. Well, that's good. That's good. But it's How the final group of AAs, and that's where they're meeting. Okay. Yeah, and I guess also, all, yes, they're not all good. Also, the <laughs> Bledsoe County Highway Department is closed oh, yeah. currently, and they will not open until Tuesday, January the 3rd. So don't Try. call them. <laughs> That's exactly They're right. Be there. Be a complete waste of time. <laughs> complete waste of time. Okay. Well. Okay. So you got your announcement. So now we will tell the birthdays. I, got, uh, I have to go buy two a, calendars on this. <laughs> uh, a birthday is a festive time. It sure uh, is. Unless you're 87 years old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're just glad another one got, got, came along. <laughs> I'll have I'll have one in February. I know, I know. I am aware of that. Well, we're going to tell uh, these birthdays for now, though, <laughs> or I'll forget to do it again. <laughs> and uh, we haven't used two calendars here, so I'll start out. But these are all for this past week and some for like tomorrow, New Year's Eve, and uh, some next week on Wednesday. So let's get started. Happy birthday to the following people, folks. Uh, on the 27th, happy birthday to oh, Paul Peters oh. and uh, Nancy Smith Lewis, which is Kendall's mom. Oh, that's strange. They have a birthday on the same day. I didn't know that. 27. What about that? <laughs> and like I said, no. the, <laughs> she, they live in Sequatchie County. Yeah, and her husband's name is Ed. It's a very sweet couple. Okay, yeah, I know her. She's really nice. Okay, and then uh, Wednesday on the 28th, we had two birthdays as well, Papa. This was to Mindy McGowan and uh, to Angie Fugit, who's Angie Pendergrass in school. Uh, so I know both of them. Happy birthday, Mindy and Angie. Uh, hope y'all had a great birthday as well. And then yesterday, on the 29th, Sharon Rogers celebrated her birthday. And today, we have uh, four. four. <laughs> yes, happy birthday today to Bobby Reed and Donna Lloyd. I think our producer might know her. Donna. Donna. I can't, I'll never get used to that. Never. Because I never called her. I like. I didn't realize that. Just D-O-N-A. Mm -hmm. You can't pronounce it any other way, but people do. Yeah. I you're know. Not, you're not the only one that it mispronounces, <laughs> right. are you? Well, happy birthday, Donna. And happy birthday to also um, Angela Gossett. Angela Bowling. Happy birthday, Angela. And happy birthday to Hubert Davis. Hubert, yeah. Yeah, we know him. Hubert's wife and I graduated together. Oh, okay. I didn't know that, but I knew you were so friends with him. Hubert must be pretty close to my age. Probably is, yeah. Uh, and I can't forget New Year's Eve birthdays, Papa. We got a couple of them. One of them is our sponsor, Ascending Hipper, and also happy birthday to Bo Brown. You see him often working with the city. So happy birthday to Cindy, Nipper, and Bo Brown. Uh, that's going to be tomorrow, New Year's Eve, folks. And our birthdays for next uh, week so far is on the 4th. Uh, our producer may know this guy, too, Bobby Lloyd. <laughs> and Melanie Henry. Melanie Henry, who teaches down at school. So happy early birthday to you guys as well. 
That's wonderful. I, mm -hmm. I, I worked with Melanie's grandmother. In Judy? The, in the drugstore. No, Judy's her mother. Oh, yeah, that's right. Which, uh, oh. Wilma. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, Wilma. Uh, Wilma. Well, I knew that. <laughs> Wilma just worked at the ice cream bar and, uh -huh. and I popped popcorn at night. So mm -hmm. I got to know Wilma quite well. Yeah. Very sweet lady. Very, sweet <laughs> Very lady. much so. Well, I think I remembered everybody on the birthday, so that's good those, those that were <laughs> that were that have a birthday tomorrow just think of yeah. how happy their mother and daddy was when they uh, got born they that was another tax credit yeah true <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good way to look yeah, at it another tax credit <laughs> well papa i guess we can move right along into your famous trivia i'm ready i'm sure you are i'm not <laughs> <laughs> Never am. These are easy. Usually that's I, I, a sign of it going to be I hard. Wanted to, I wanted to close the year out with easy selections. <laughs> I bet you did. All right. You <laughs> you give me what goes with Francisco. Three San. Days. San Francisco. Okay. Well, this might be easy. We'll see. We'll see. The other word for crimson. What color what? is crimson? Red. Red. Okay. I told you they're easy, Billy. So far, so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, your car has a motor in it, but <clears throat> what is another name for a car motor? What's another name for a car mo a motor? Dang it, it's going to be obvious, but I can't think of it. An engine. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's easy. That. that was simple. That's almost too easy. Now, what do you call the holder that a player has to hold for the football touch touchdown that's been scored what they give you something to put that football on to kick off what is that called the, well, the player is the kicker but the what is kicker. the little thing that they put the tee the tee yeah i told you they were easy <laughs> who says so they're one who buddy. says ho 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 Gee, I think it's old Santa Claus. <laughs> I see it. They're easy, Billy. <laughs> well, it's about time. The one who steals a ride on a train is called a... Passenger? He steals a ride. What? A passenger pays for their ride. Oh, that steals a ride on it. Or steals it? What do you call a person? Hijacks it? No. Well, I... Shoot. How do you steal a train? He hides. He hides on okay. a train to, to get to from from one town to the next. Oh, okay, he's not on there harm anybody. No, no. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I don't know what you call him, a bum. <laughs> That's, that is probably the correct word, but they're called a hobo. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, now, what was the name of Eve's garden that she was in? <laughs> Eden. Eden. Told you they were easy, Billy. All right. That puts a lot of pressure on me, though, not to miss them. If, if you are uh, asked to give your view on a subject and you are against that subject, what is the word that defines your stance as being against it? There is a word for if you're for a, an event, mm -hmm. and there is a word if you are opposed to it. What is the word if you are against an issue that you want to express your displeasure, you want to express your view, so you are, if you're for it, it's pro. Okay, I've heard of that. So, if you're against an issue, it's no. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> I knew that wasn't the right answer. I'm sure you're, uh, I'm sure our I can't think, yeah, I need my lifeline, dang it. Anti. And uh, that makes sense, yeah. I knew that would I be knew, easy. Yeah, when you miss these and don't know what Now, during feel. Christmas, or this Christmas season, uh -huh. I watched The Grinch That Almost Stole Christmas. Did you watch it? I watched The Grinch That Stole Christmas. I think that was called? The Grinch That Almost Stole Christmas. Oh, it, well, same thing. Eh? The Grinch, All right. right. The cartoon was, or the movie version? What was his dog's name? The dog had to pull the sleigh. He couldn't get a reindeer. I care. That little old dog's name was three letters. 
is lifeline no i don't remember that one either i can see his i can see the little dog but i don't know his max name. dang it max. that is right that is right okay that, that's all oh right. really you gotta end it with a miss well i done good I'm dang it i'm sorry <laughs> well those are i uh, got a bunch of them right at least well, was, the easy on ones mind. though make it they put a lot of pressure on you because you feel stupid <laughs> if you miss them <laughs> That's what's bad about that. <laughs> but you well, can understand where I got some of these. I watched mm -hmm. The Grinch on television. Yeah. And I, I thought, well, Max, I don't you, remember that dog's name. I know. I, I, as soon as you said it, you know, I remembered. But did but you I watch the cartoon or the Jim Carrey? Well, I do. Before. I do. I just couldn't think of anti. I just could not think of that. Did you watch the Jim Carrey version or the cartoon, though, Papa? The cartoon. Yeah. I mean, you keep it's hard to beat the original, isn't it? It's hard to beat the original. Yeah. The the thing about a Christmas Carol, I read that book back in November. Mm -hmm. The thing about that story that was written in eighteen and fifty four, mm -hmm. uh and the Grinch, mm -hmm. the Grinch's heart changed in the story on the Christmas Carol, Scrooge changed. Yeah, both of them the had parallel. a heart conversion, and yeah. they went directly opposite to the way they had lived their lives. They sure did, yeah. Instead of bah humbug, he <laughs> wanted to give everybody. Anything he did, he didn't he? he completely changed. And so did the Grinch, though. That I uh, never thought about that until you brought it up uh, the other day, though. Yeah, I brought the interesting it up. parallels between them two. They're very similar. They're very similar, but yet. I never thought uh, that the time distance and and that charles dickens wrote that story a christmas carol yeah. in six weeks yeah that's amazing and he, it must have always been coming to him all at once and it's amazing super yeah. talented yeah super talented that's a god-given gift there can like you imagine <laughs> uh, these people that turn out novels on a regular basis no. No. How do they get the ideas to turn out? I know, I know. Because I, everything is make believe. Yeah. Unless they compare it to a life situation that they've come through, but you 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 go go to the library and, and you can find a whole bunch of novels that somebody wrote and they keep on writing. Yeah, I know. But Zane I, Gray wrote a lot of westerns. Yeah. Nora think, Roberts writes a lot of. Uh, I guess they're love stories. I don't know. Who? Nora Roberts. Oh, I've Nora seen, Roberts. Yeah. I've seen her name on I don't know. I've never read any of her works. I've, well, I haven't either, but I've seen that name on a bunch of books, you know. So she must write several. She so I guess if you've got a talent for writing, you've got a mastery of words. Yeah. And you can Huge imagination, too. And, and yeah, you've got to have an imagination. Well, uh, creative. Ruth Burton, she's written two or three books. I know, I know. But now she relies a lot of times on current events and on situations that she's familiar with. Uh, yeah. Well, her last one's great, and I've got to read it all, though. Uh, I still like a lot into it. She was our guest on the 200th episode talking about that. Remember? Yeah. Uh, God, all the stories in it. So just, the, the last I didn't book know a she, lot of them. The last book she wrote. Uh, was that, I believe. The, the story of Carolyn I was in. Mm -hmm. It was the first one. First one. First it one. sure was. Yeah, I remember her saying that. Well, that's it for trivia, folks. But uh, stick around because coming up next, right after the break, we'll have some sports of all sorts. Uh, the bowl games are officially underway. We'll update you on the Orange Bowl, which is going to be really, really orange tonight. You got the Tennessee Orange, the Clemson Orange, and the Orange Bowl. We'll be a lot of orange there. there. So uh, we'll be telling you about all the bowl games, and after that, we'll have some good old Albertology, <laughs> and of course, some jokes and all that good stuff. That is all coming up after the break, folks. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Dunlap Mercantile, located in the heart of the beautiful Sequatchie Valley at 15664 Rankin Avenue in Dunlap, Tennessee. Stop in today for some Mayfield ice cream or a cup of community coffee. And if you're interested in renting this venue for your event, call 423-949-2552 
Stay tuned to DunlapMercantile.com for concerts and events coming to the Dunlap Mercantile in 2021. God bless. Welcome back, folks, to the Albert and Billy Show here on WUAT Radio and watch us on Channel 18, BTC Fiber TV, also on BTC Fiber YouTube channel. Watch us on there. Uh, watch all the BTC Fiber shows on there. And don't forget to subscribe, folks. And we want to definitely thank our sponsors. Yes. So thank you uh, to the following people. Thank you to Citizens Tri-County Bank. Bilberry Insurance, Scotty's of Pikeville, the offices of Janine Boynton, Lisa Wheeler, and Michael Walker. I still can't believe I haven't messed that one up yet. <laughs> Farm Bureau Insurance, Matt Massengill and his friendly staff down in South Pikeville, well, right by Putnam Reed Funeral Home. Uh, Nickel Row Antiques, of course, that's our closest neighbor. Gail's not here today. She took the day off. Uh, Maybe it won't be we used to her being that. Yeah, she might be. Yes, true. That that's crazy, ain't it? Well, we'll miss her. I'll miss my lifeline for those few months, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Uh, also, uh, thank you to Morgan Brothers, which comes with that. They got the venue, and of course, the Bank Walker Brewery, uh, State Farm Insurance, uh, Nick Smith, and his friendly staff for all your insurance needs. Sydney works out there. I had her in school. Oh, I didn't know. She, yeah, I didn't know that. You're, I saw her there the other day. Mill Dam Outdoor Adventures. Um, it's Lola's. I, I'd say she's recovering from all the work she put in, though, with the light up Christmas event. I, it would be my guess. They lit it up. They did light it up, and it was a huge success. It I, really was. I don't remember ever seeing the ballpark. I mean, the what do you call that place out there? Oh, the fairgrounds. I fairgrounds. Saw, oh, it was, it was Man, really it nice. it was lit up. It, the whole place it was and they had a good turnout for that one uh also uh, michelle collier collier and company realty we've seen her a few times on here uh cindy nipper well happy birthday cindy nipper once again <laughs> dexter's barbershop the butter dish uh, lee station baptist church southern pearl florist home decor and gifts nailed it uh hilltop meets and uh, go see Adriana for all your travel needs, literally anywhere. Give her a cut seashore getaway. All right, Papa. It's uh, a good time to be a sports fan right now, you know. A sports junkie uh, <laughs> loves bowl game season, like March Madness, you know. Uh, there's certain times of the year that are really good to be a sports fan. Bowl season lasts from early December all the way through early January. I know it does last. Yeah, it does. Well, I think you've yeah. got uh, 60 Two. some odd teams that participate. That's so the there's got to be around 32 to 35 bowls to, to get all those teams. And, and a lot of those teams are playing with 6-6 six, six records. It just takes away from it, don't it? Yeah, it does. You don't want to watch a team that's just won six and lost six. No. You're awarding them a prize for a mediocrity, basically. Yeah. And you dang sure don't want to watch a team get in a bowl game with a losing record somehow. Uh, there's no way I'd watch that. I think last year I saw a, a team with a we five did. seven record. I think we did. It's the first time we'd ever seen it. Well, they didn't have anybody else to get. No, no. I think they've just got too many bowl games now. That's they, it. They went crazy with it. And I would not be surprised by what they don't come up with a few more. No, I wouldn't be either. I wouldn't either. If they aren't going to do anything, it makes sense. <laughs> but uh, a bowl game of importance to us on here, Papa, is the orange bowl think of all the orange that'll be there tonight it's orange versus orange and in the orange tonight at <laughs> seven o'clock our time okay i'm glad you said that you want to be sure and watch that and root for tennessee and clemson what? is no pushover 
No, no, they're not. They're Clemson not. is no pushover. Now, South Carolina pushed them over. <laughs> yeah, right after doing it, then the same thing, Tennessee. But they pushed Tennessee over, too. Yeah, the week before, we talked about that. South Carolina made their year, you know, in two ball games. Well, back to back. <laughs> he, he brought back, that coach brought back Beamer Ball. He did, he did. I think they caught on to it towards the end of the year. They might be named, they might win their bowl game, South Carolina. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't either. The way they've been playing. They're on a roll. They are. And the Tennessee Clemson game is going to be a very close game. It has all the uh it has all the earmarks right <laughs> it now. It really does, yeah. But you don't know. Uh, no. one, one of them may completely tank it. May really go on a roll and just wash the I other one out of the picture. You don't know. Two high powered offenses. Our high school basketball team, going way back in December, they uh, took on South Pittsburgh on the 13th of December, and, mm -hmm. and the boys won a close to the fall game, 73-69. Then we took on uh, uh, Sequatchie County. That was the second time in eight days. I know, it's crazy. And, it's crazy to me. And that gave us a uh, district win. Uh, there we won 58-37. Now, okay. Tabor led the team in scoring in that game uh, with 19, and uh, let's see, uh, who won, let's see, Clark led the scoring against South Pittsburgh okay. with, with 21. Now, So, the boys are off to maybe a 3-0 start in the district? Well, we, we played in the Invitational Tournament over there in Christmas in Ray oh. County, and I don't know how we came out there. But I our think next, that might be... I don't even know if that's completed yet. I really don't know. I have to find out. We are going to have a regular season game on January the 5th. Good. And we'll be playing Monterey here at home. Oh, yeah. You can listen to that one here. In the sports yeah. world, it's Franco Harris on. died. I don't know if you remember Franco Harris or not. I don't know if I do or not. I think he was the one that caught the pass in the immaculate reception remember I told oh you? he's the one that done that i think he was the one that caught the ball okay but anyway franco harris died i've got a oh. list of other people that has died i want to talk about that in abrology uh fun times tennessee in <laughs> the uh battle in uh, the desert they lost to Arizona, 75 to 7. Oh, yeah, that's about, what, a week ago? That was in back in December. Yeah. And no uh, then our losses. women lost to Stanford. Stanford is but not that's a, a That's a, not a bad loss. That and it was a close 70, game. 77 to 70. And I say if you will average 70 points, you'll win some games, but you won't win all of them. No. I think that's when I realized, though, that they were... They are turning the corner. They're getting They're competitive. Getting better. Yeah. But that pulled the record to set that then. pulled them down to seven and six. Mm -hmm. That's the worst start that Tennessee's had in forty years in the I'm women's sure. basketball arena. I'm sure. That's sad. They're nine and six now, I believe. They or maybe yeah, they've won at least two in a row. Well that's good. Mm -hmm. On the Paul Paul Feinbaum show, they had a a series there one night. They wanted people to call in and tell them uh, what it was that you had as a family tradition at Christmas that impressed you. Really? So there were four or five people called in. One of them called in and said... Both some characters too. Yeah, and they said that our Christmas that I remember we had biscuits and chocolate gravy and bacon. Mm. That'd be nice. And then another man called Chocolate in and gravy. said, for Christmas, we always <clears throat> have rib roast. <laughs> I used to sell a, a lot of rib roast, and it seems to me like I sold a lot of them at, at Christmas. I don't know. Oh, well, maybe you what. did then. But you could have. I, I always liked a rib steak. I, I think I'd rather have a steak than have a roast. Me but anyway. Too. Yeah, you're uh, right on that one. Buffalo. Another man called in and said, what we always did on Christmas was eating and eating and more eating. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And this is probably <laughs> what most people do on Christmas. This fella called in and said they opened their Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. Yeah. We did that up at Paula's this year. We opened our Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. 
Makes yeah, what sense. is it? You can't wait till Christmas? Probably not. It's too tempting. <laughs> well, last week, Alabama got zagged by Gonzaga. Gonzaga? In basketball? 100 to 90. Wow. But Alabama, they're, they're a high rank, though. They're, they're, they're the top 10, I know. And L LSU won over Winthrop, 89 to 81. Well, they should, and, that should have uh, been a, more of a blowout. And our Tennessee Vols took on Ole Miss in Oxford. Good one, yesterday. And they came away with a 63 to 59 win. Yeah. And now that puts our record as the men's basketball squad mm -hmm. is, uh, they have an 11-2 record, mm -hmm. and they're rated number seven in the unit, whole they United States. They deserve it. They're on a roll. And uh, I guess so that means the men and women are off to one of those starting conference plays, so that's good. Well, it'd be harder to... to you're going to lose some games in the SEC. Yeah, this is too you're going difficult to lose some of a conference. It really is. But if you can establish your rhythm and mm -hmm. your pattern, and you can score 75 to 80 points a game, you'll win most of your games. That's true. Yeah, you will. you got to have the offense and the defense. you got to right. be able to defend that other team. That's exactly right, Papa. In bowl activities. Yeah, let's hear about some of the bowl In the games. Las Vegas <laughs> Bowl... Uh, we played in it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Wake Forest played uh, Wake Forest Florida. Bowl. Whoa! What? And <laughs> we good. we got beat thirty four to three. What? Florida 30. lost to Wake Forest thirty four to three. Wake Forest. Woo! That's pitiful. Do you, do you know what the Wake I think Forest basketball? I think Wake Forest. Do you? Uh, yeah, but wow. do you know what Wake Forest is a Baptist school? Mm -hmm. You know what they're called? Yeah, I don't understand that. The Demon Deacons. Demon Deacons. I, I've never understood that. They wanted to get both Christianity in there. <laughs> give the devil his so. due, I guess. I guess that's it. In the <laughs> in the Gasparilla Bowl. No now that was loss number one by the SEC team. <laughs> in the Gasparilla Bowl, Wake Forest played uh, mm -hmm. Missouri. Oh, it was Missouri they played. Okay. And uh, that was our second loss. Out so Wake today. Forest me beat Missouri. Who beat Florida? That, uh, Wake Forest beat Florida. Well, who beat Missouri? This is... Um, so Wake Forest beat them both? Oh, no. I'm no uh, that's not right. <laughs> I didn't think I've so. I've gotten out of waiting for us on both of them. That's the first mistake I ever made. But anyway, uh, Missouri That's got beat. Good, Papa. Missouri got beat. By somebody. In the Liberty Bowl, Arkansas got uh, our first win. Did they? Who did they beat? Uh, the Kansas. Okay. Uh, 50, oh, raise back. 55 to 53. Wow. What uh, offense. And I watched Ole Miss, and Lane Kiffin is the coach of Ole Miss. I and uh, the Lane Kiffin uh, beat us. The seat. That was a win for the SEC. I hope. Texas Tech beat Ole Miss. Are you kidding me? Forty-two to twenty-five. Oh wow! Lane Kiffin got beat. Dang. That's loss number three. That's a bad loss, too. That yeah, really is. Loss. In the Liberty Bowl, Arkansas took on... Uh, mm -hmm. Kansas. What you said a while ago, Kansas. Yeah. And both teams had 6-6 six, six records. Mm. And the regular game ended with a 38-38 tie. They went Whoa, in they three really overtimes. <laughs> I didn't know that. Three over and it got down to where all you were doing was trying for a two-point conversion. Yeah. That's all you were doing. And so uh, Arkansas won 55 to 53. Man. Isn't that something? F yeah, three that's a lot of, yeah. It's been a good game to watch, though. I missed it. And don't forget tonight, Tennessee takes on Clemson. Orange it's versus Orange. It's a big Orange. one. It's a big one. We want to be sure and, and win. root for Tennessee. That'd be a big win for the program. It really would be. Clemson well, that'll, that'll give us tw a 12 win season. Yeah, first one in a long time. And you're beating a, you know, a team, Clemson has won two national championships in the last four years. You, you know, want, so you would want to register a win yeah. against them yeah. as opposed to somebody else. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Albert Ozzie.
Albertology, folks. I never know what this is going to be. New Year's Eve. <laughs> on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Well, that'll be tomorrow night. Where mm -hmm. is it celebrated big time in the United States? No, uh, where they do the ball drop. The ball New York drops. City. New York City. Yeah. In the United States, uh, most observe New Year's Eve watching that uh, old year go out and the new year come in. Mm -hmm. uh, we can thank the English for giving us uh, resolutions. The resolutions mm -hmm. are made to correct faults that we have and mistakes that we've made and we want to turn over a new leaf. Yeah. That's something you do at New Year's Eve. That's true. That's true. New Year's Day became a holiday for Christian churches in 487 AD, God. but it was not widely accepted <laughs> until 1500. Aren't you glad that it's uh, it's that way today? Yeah, definitely. In in January, these are the birthdays that you will note. J. Edgar Hoover, do you remember who J. Edgar Hoover was? Mm-hmm. FDR, mm -hmm. Betty Ross, what did she do? Betsy Ross. Oh, uh, she done something with the flag, right? She made the it's first made, flag. That's right. <laughs> uh, Joan of Arc. Yeah. yeah. She was burned at the stake. Boy, John, she was, wasn't she? John Hancock. They say put, yeah. your, put, that, put your John Hancock down here. Yeah. And uh, ben, Benjamin Franklin. Wow, impressive group. And Daniel Webster. Really? Daniel Webster. Yeah, that That's the people that group. will have a birthday in January. Hmm. Now, <clears throat> New Year's traditions around the world. Oh, ours is going to be hog jaw and black eyed peas. On New Year's Day. Oh, yeah. New Year's Day, yeah. What, uh, what are the uh, hog jaw and what are the black eyed peas for? Uh, something good luck. Good luck. Is it about money? It has to do with yeah. money. The more you eat, the maybe the more money you get. But, or the, but the reason you have greens is to give you bills. The black eyed peas are just pennies. <laughs> but around I've never the, heard it put that way. But around the world, uh, most <laughs> ago, most in most countries, mm. the, a lot of noise is made. But there's a lot of fireworks yeah. sold. People it's shoot a off a lot of firecrackers and, and they do a lot of things like that. And that's a favorite pastime around the world. Uh, yeah, it is. Making and noise. Yeah, uh, celebrating. But in Thailand, they shoot guns to frighten off demons. Say so what now? Where at? They, in Thailand. Thailand? Thailand, they, they shoot guns to scare off demons. Wow. <laughs> in China, the firecrackers, and that China is a big maker of the fireworks. In China, they, they shoot their firecrackers to get rid of the forces of darkness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and today, Italians, they let their church bells ring, mm -hmm. and the Swiss beat drums, and North Americans sound sirens, and party horns to bid the old year farewell and the new, yeah. year, new year coming in. And, uh, yeah, that's the truth. Uh, you think we have the the black eyed peas and pork? Yeah. That's to give us good fortune. But uh, in uh, in some countries, <laughs> they have some strange ideas. <laughs> well, I reckon uh, they eat twelve grapes at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's from Spain, and they want to get their mouths filled with 12 grapes. One grape for every chime on the clock. Dang. They wow. put 12 grapes in their mouth at one time. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, apples dipped in honey. That's a New Year's uh, delight in, uh, in Jew Is it? Jewish homes. I don't know. That. Uh, but anyway, the the idea of turning over a new leaf mm -hmm. is it's basically a, a real clear concept. It's an idea of analyzing your life and realizing that you need to do better this year than you did last year. That is definitely a good description of it. It really most is. of us 
carry around too much trash, mm -hmm. too much, uh, too, uh, mm -hmm. too much bad stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I but guess. <laughs> uh, this year we're not going to have a watch service at our church, but in the past we have. Mm -hmm. uh, just get together as a family, a church family, and and uh, like I say, bid the old year goodbye and, and welcome the new year. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I like this one. This is, this is just folklore. <laughs> okay. These are some customs and beliefs that have been passed down through the ages. Mm -hmm. On New Year's Eve, kiss the person you kiss the person you hope to keep on kissing. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> if the old year goes out like a lion, the new year will come in like a lamb. Ooh. I've heard that of March and April. Really? Uh, begin the new year square with every man pay your debts <laughs> good point anyway that's some New Year's those are uh <laughs> oh <laughs> something some something felt that was interesting Papa now wait just uh, a minute now, I'm not you got some that. more uh, yeah I got some more but I mean of this right here that's I, all yeah right. I was just pointing out that this was interesting Papa well I, I got that it's I don't remember often. where I got it <laughs> uh, this man is his name is Jody Moen he wrote this he said I was in South Carolina having made the trip in a 20 year old van my car is wow. my car is <laughs> gosh my car is 25 years old with just Every my bit. dog uh, all I had for company was my dog and he, I was crying for just about 1,000 miles of the drive Mm. I had learned only a day or two before that my beloved brother Billy had been killed. Well, the so one of his friends had driven me to a store to get oil for the van. As I came out of the store, I was approached by an older woman. Mm -hmm. She walked up to me and enveloped me in a very tight hug. Mm -hmm. I read about your brother in the paper, she said. I prayed for him, and I'm going to pray for you. I don't know who she was after she left, <laughs> or how she knew who I was, but this stranger sensed my grief and cared enough to reach out for me. Yeah. I think of her often. I remember her face and the kindness she showed me. Sometimes I wonder, was she an angel? Oh, wow. And he... It does make it, you wonder. And he finishes it by saying, yes, I think she was. Yeah. You know, the uh, someone came up with the same one time, you might entertain angels unawares. Yeah. Angels, so true. Angels can take forms. Yeah, and humans, yeah. Yeah. Do and, you, and it does make according you to Matthew, one. the 18th chapter, the 10th verse, each one of us has a guardian angel. Yes, we do. We, we have a guardian sure angel. And sometimes I, I, I really have mine. Uh, I give mine a fit. <laughs> I give my one too. <laughs> okay, thou shalt not steal. Right. A 400-year-old Bible was among hundreds of items stolen in one of our largest library heists ever recorded. Whoa. The Bible was recovered last year and returned to the Carnegie Library in Pittsburgh, but it isn't back in the archives yet. After all, the rare books room is still an active crime scene. <laughs> Who would want to steal the Bible? Well, you'd have to be a special piece of, you know what, to do that. For sure. For Death. that word, Papa. <laughs> Death crept in on our scene big time. I saw this on television this morning, and they had a picture of each person that had died mm. during the year that was famous. Oh, okay. I only wrote down a few. In okay. our sports world, it crept into the basketball scene by stealing Bill Russell. No kidding. You remember Bill Russell? Yeah. Six foot ten center. Celtic great. Celtic. And 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 they said of, of him they never let him be interviewed because they were afraid he'd laugh and his laugh was so silly that he wanted anybody to hear him laugh. 
I just can't see that. In, in the, the baseball world. world, it took Ben Ben Scully. Ben Scully was the voice of the Dodgers okay. for many, many years. Heard that name. And uh, then it got Franco Harris. I told you about him today. Yeah. <laughs> That's in the football world. I know it. Okay, it got Naomi Judd in the entertainment world. Oh. It got Sidney Poitier. I remember yeah, I know in the mo movie industry. It sure did. Yeah. It got Christy Alley. I know she that was, was just a couple Cheers, weeks ago. She? Yeah. And it got Angela Lansbury. Yeah, she passed away not long ago. Uh, she was she famous. was nearly hundred years old though. Yeah, she, but she was famous for Murder She Wrote. Absolutely. But she was also in the Beauty and the Beast. She was yeah. the, the singing teapot. She was, and yeah, she she's legendary. We lost Queen Elizabeth last year, this year. Is this year? Yes, yeah. you're right. And we lost Loretta Lynn. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's the ones that I had time to write down. I didn't have those time. were some big ones. There there were a lot of people I didn't I didn't recognize. Yeah. I've got a few jokes. Uh, well, you better. <laughs> <laughs> that's a given, buddy. Uh, after flunking a job interview, I got up. Shook everyone's hand and walked into a closet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say they thought you were a klutz. I'd say so too. <laughs> just, just bumped into a mannequin and said, oh, sorry. Then I said, oh, I thought you were a person. Then I realized I was still talking to a mannequin. <laughs> I wonder where the word mannequin ever came from. Good question. Good question. I don't have any idea, but it's a good uh, question, Papa. My mother was in a bakery and noticed a fly in the display case. Mm. The clerk must have noticed her look of dismay because she assured her mom they don't eat much. <laughs> I'm sure that's what his mother wanted to hear. <laughs> a sales yeah, very comforting. Now a salesperson stopped by to see one of his customers in his business. Mm. And not a soul was in the office except a beagle. <laughs> but the beagle was emptying waste baskets. Mm. And the beagle said to the salesman, I'll be finished in a few minutes. The salesman said, that's incredible. Does your boss know that you talk? A talking dog? <laughs> and the beagle was so alarmed and he said, he put down the waste space and said, don't tell my boss. If you tell him, then I'll have to answer the phone. <laughs> what would you do? That's great. I don't know what you do in that situation. Probably pass out. The dog's talking to you. <laughs> That'd be my first guess. Don't be scared if you do things, if you don't do things in the right order. I didn't think I'd have dessert before breakfast today, but hey, I did, and it wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, like I know, that. I know a man that has two pieces of cake every morning for breakfast. I do. Really? I know. I'm, he told me that. He said, hmm. "I have two pieces of cake every morning for breakfast with my coffee." And it's good. That's his breakfast. Wow. I mean, and don't knock it. I've not ever tried it. Yeah, I maybe mean, we need to. <laughs> a priest and a pastor are standing by the side of the road holding up a sign. And this is what the sign read. The end is near. <laughs> Turn around now before it's too late. Oh my gosh. A passing driver yelled, you guys are nuts. He got that. Kept on driving. <laughs> and then around the curve, they heard the tires no. make a noise. And then they heard a big splash. Mm. So the priest turned to the pastor and he said, Do you think we should change this sign to bridge out? <laughs> <laughs> I think they need to, don't you? I think they do too. <laughs> do you know who Chuck Norris is? Yeah. 
Walker, Texas Ranger. Chuck Chuck Norris counted to infinity twice. Chuck Norris it's uses smart. pepper spray on his steaks. He does? Chuck Norris doesn't shower, he takes blood baths. <laughs> <laughs> He is, a, he is a macho man. Now I want you to remember in this uh, joke I'm telling, there are twins. Okay. Remember that. Okay, twins, twins. My right. twin brother is cheap, but even I was surprised when he didn't get me anything for my birthday. He yeah. had a reasonable explanation. He said, sorry, I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> They're twins. <laughs> he had a birthday, but his brother didn't have one. <laughs> that must be the dumb twin. <laughs> one day, my younger brother knocked on our neighbor's door mm -hmm. and asked if her son, David, could come out and play. Mm -hmm. The woman, the mother, was suspicious because they hadn't used her son, David, to play with before. That's and strange. so she says... Well, why do you want my son to come out and play with you? Well, we need a monster. <laughs> wow. wow. My friends asked me to go camping with them. Uh-oh. So I made a list of the things that I would need. Number yeah. one on my list, new friends. <laughs> I was expecting that answer. <laughs> now, uh, I've got, I don't know which one to use last. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use both of them. <laughs> My oh. ball, now this is, this shows you how extreme laziness is. Oh, yeah. My boss told me to have a good day, so I went home. <laughs> Yeah, if, you think that's that, funny. if you think that's funny, listen to this one. Okay. <laughs> the best way to avoid a hangover mm -hmm. is to stay drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Man, those were good. Those were good. <laughs> I never had thought about how to get over a hangover. <laughs> That's definitely one way to look at it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Are you on a roll still on the jokes, Papa? Definitely on a roll still. <laughs> yeah, they, they've been really good here lately. For about several months now, really. Well, um. Let's see. I cut this those is... out of an uh, almanac. You did, didn't you? Uh, yep. Yeah. I was making sure. <laughs> Tell my happy New Year's, folks, and uh, yeah, this is a that's this weekend. It's hard to believe. Starts tomorrow. It New sure Year's does. And don't forget to check out UT ball game tonight, folks. So yeah, in, against Clemson uh, in the Orange Bowl. So uh, it's gonna be weird seeing all that orange in one spot. You'll have time to eat your supper if you eat at six. That's right. That's right. So I Get your supper doing. out of the way is so that you can sit down and watch a, a two hour and a half ball game. Yeah, and relax. Two hours. Yeah. Yep. So, so if uh, it starts at seven, be over by nine thirty. Yeah, should be. Then you can watch a movie. That's right. You want to just whatever, can't you? <laughs> well, uh, we want to wish everybody a happy new year, though, Papa. Yes. Uh, happy New Year's. Um, be careful if you get out. Uh, let's see, it'd be tomorrow night, wouldn't it? No, yeah, it would be. Tomorrow night. Yeah, these holidays have messed up the days for me, but yes. All right, <laughs> it'll be tomorrow night. That's crazy. The way that you remember December has 31 days yep. is that old adage 30 days has September, April, June, and November. Wow. All the rest have 31 except February. Wow, that, that's a good way to look at it. Let me try. So four have 30 days. The rest of the seven of the 12 have 31 days. And February has wow. 28, 28 in every five years. It has 29. Dang, I didn't know that. Wow. 
<laughs> you learned something today. Man. I sure did. I, it never fails. I have I've watched that <laughs> Billy show several times, <laughs> and I've noticed that I will say sometimes to you, "Listen, Billy." You <laughs> said that's his favorite word. I've always said that. Listen, listen, that's his word right there. <laughs> but people people, <laughs> ask, uh, people tell me, not very many people, but a few mm. people have said, Albert, how do you know all that? Yeah, I know. They've told that to me about well, you. Well, uh, I don't come up here and sit <laughs> here and think that I can think of things to no. last for an hour and a half or two hours. Heck no. I, plan, I don't blame you on that. I, I plan, but... Let me tell you uh, uh, how I'm getting a lot of my trivia questions. Mm. Working crossword puzzles. Oh, yeah. I'm I, sure, yeah. I come to words, and I put down what that word means, and I mm -hmm. fill in the blank. Then I get to thinking every once in a while, <laughs> hey, that'd make a good question. <laughs> it sure would. There you go. Oh, good job. You're on it today, Papa. <laughs> and I like to read. Yes, in, yes, he does, folks. And, he and, does. In reading, I, I come across some things that Oh, helps. yeah. Yeah, that's important. But uh, also, don't forget, you can, I'll say it one more time, uh, folks, you can listen. Well, no, you can't listen to Bible because they're playing in that holiday tournament. We were going to do it, but we're doing the one against Monterey, right? Yeah, Monterey. Yeah. Ne that's next week or in the week so that's when you can listen to us on WA too. January the 5th that's it the 5th that's what I was looking for thank <laughs> you <laughs> that'll so, be on Friday yep because January the 1st is on Sunday it will be then on it yeah Sunday wow well as December winds down <laughs> I wonder what day 2022 they go back, I wonder what day they go back to school hmm uh, it's I, I saw the date somewhere. It's not long. They got a few more days out, and then they go back. Yeah, they wouldn't make them go back right now. No, but, no. But so month of Monday is going to be January second. I bet you they won't go back to Monday. No. So I no. bet you Friday's game. Well, they won't. They won't be back in school. They won't, will they? I bet you it's the next week when school starts. Yeah, I'll have to look that up and see, make sure now. <laughs> Doubt well, myself now. <laughs> he does. I put in 12 hard years down there. I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, and we'll be watching UT and Clemson tonight. You watch that tonight, folks? Yes, I can. Oh, uh, so yeah, I that to. UT fans, to. be sure to watch the Orange Bowl. Big game. Uh, what channel for ESPN? I don't know. I don't know what channel. I'd say so. I'd say so. Or it could be ESPN or CBS, but well, I it'll be mind, all that for sure. I would think that of all the games that are being played right now, that that, that would be yeah. one of the premier games. Orange Bowl? It would be, yeah, absolutely. So I would think that it would be on SC, SCC Network. At least, yeah. If not, but it'd be whichever one gives them the widest viewership. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't know either. <laughs> I really don't know. I guess we'll find out though, won't we? But th that's where your advertising dollar buys yeah. space, buddy. We, that's true. They buy the the game that's going to be have the most interest and have sure. the most people watching. Absolutely, that is a fact. But would just a year ago, would you have thought that Tennessee would be playing in the Orange Bowl and we would no. have a record like we've got? No, no, we overachieved. So people don't people don't need to start, you know, uh, giving unrealistic expectations well, of, I the, think of these what, guys. Wasn't don't. our record seven wins last year? Yeah, if that is about five hundred, you know, like. Barely, was, over, barely yeah. over, but barely over. That's exactly right. So they've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> and I think they'll have a good year next year. What? The, football. But, football. Oh, I, yeah, absolutely. I, I do think, well, I don't know on the girls' basketball, uh, the boys are having a good year so far yeah. with Papa. Yeah. So 
Now, there's a lot of potential there for sure. I'm sure our Tennessee's athletic director mm -hmm. is preening his feathers, but <laughs> thinking, boy, yeah, let me tell you, I've done a good job in <laughs> basketball and I've done a good job in football. <laughs> if we <you> only knew. <laughs> Well, folks, we want to wish all you guys a happy New Year's, and uh, thanks for watching our, uh, well, watch us today, our final episode of 2022, Papa. Yes. So, uh, we'll see you guys next year. And by, yeah, that, next I say, year. by that, I say next week. So, uh, have a great weekend, happy New Year's, and we'll see you guys next time, folks. Bye-bye. So long, folks. Happy New Year. <laughs> Hey folks, Albert and Billy here. You're watching us on channel 18, BTC Fiber. Check us out on BTC Fiber YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and like. And check out our Facebook page. Be sure to like and share. Thanks everybody for watching.